Welcome to Luigi's Balloon World. I'm going to collect coins and pop a whole bunch of balloons in every kingdom in Super Mario Odyssey. Enjoy my shenanigans and have an amazing day. We may have gotten every single moon in Super Mario Odyssey, but there's still plenty more to do, including getting every single costume, which I hope to do via not playing the main story, but playing through not Cappy's Balloon World, get that out of here, by playing Luigi's Balloon World, okay? And it actually is St. Patrick's Day. It's uh, March 17th, so you know what? <clears throat> it's even more fitting that I play this right now as I style my troll hair and equip the cap of greatness. So I wanted to actually use a different outfit for Mario here. We're going to use a Luigi outfit, <clears throat> but... There is a different outfit I do want to buy that is from one of the Brutals. Actually, the Brutal that we face off against in this world specifically, uh, that is the one uh, whose outfit I want. So, oh, it's another me. No? Yeah, no, it's 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 just me, Luigi. So, uh, this is Luigi's Balloon World. Uh, clearly, you can see I have played this game before. Now, i played this mode before extensively. So, the way it works is you hide a balloon in the world and you go and find it and you get coins every time you do it so I'm gonna hide a balloon and you start off not right from that point right there but you start off right over here so you have 30 seconds to hide your balloon wherever you want to wherever you think is best that you'll earn the most points in doing as well now some people are really crazy with where they hide their balloons so I'm gonna do my best to f hide one uh, effectively here all right so we're going to go all the way down over here and hope for the best, okay? Kind of messed up right there. I should have done like a, um, you know, a ground pound or something to really mitigate the damage right there, but that's okay. I'm going to hide mine right over here, all right? Right there, yep. And I'm going to hope for the best. So it automatically kind of figures out how much time the other person will have because other people around the world are going to try to find your balloon. So all those other people will have maybe 15 seconds or so to find your balloon, depending on where you hide it. So, oh, I need 15 coins in order to start. I wanted to start off at zero just to show you how many coins I end up getting in the mode in general. But clearly, I, uh, I can't do that. So give me a hot second here. I get a couple of coins. It's really easy to get uh, 15 coins, as you could probably assume here. Uh, give me another there we go just right there one more time. That's it just right there. Yep 13 14 probably Right. Yes. Okay. There we go. There's 15 and I oh I died So that's great And just because we get the 15 coins there uh, doesn't mean that we're gonna win instantaneously either uh, there is someone using their horn outside to uh really really invoke the sense that they need to uh you know do something outside i don't know what they're doing but whatever hopefully they're not beeping at me to move my car because my car is definitely not in the way it's just that there's seven thousand construction vehicles everywhere because that's kind of how they operate they're just big obnoxious trucks but you know what that's uh that's gonna happen all right so now let's try this again yes i want to connect to the network you do have to have a network connection for it. I don't believe you need to have a, a Nintendo Switch online. I'm not quite sure. But as you uh, collect different balloons in this game mode here, you'll earn more coins. And the more that you collect in a row, then you'll uh, you know get even more. So it's basically like a chain reaction of getting a bunch of different coins here. So you spend the 15 coins to potentially get the 88 coins right there gives you a little marker on where the coin or rather where the balloon is a lot of people like to hide them way up top over here so you can usually see them from that distance uh, you know from way where you're at right there so uh, this one should be relatively easy to find we have uh, 40 seconds to find it and if we wanted to stand still we could uh, search for the balloon so I'll stand still right here just to show you where it is okay so we missed it it's back over this way but basically there it is right down there 
So the way the, the game mode works, you just need to throw Cappy at the balloon, and then that's it. That's all you need. And um, you can go for really easy ones, and you get a time bonus as well, so that's cool. So now we can pretty much do uh, a lot more of them here. So you have to spend money to make money, which is basically a key rule for business as well. Uh, you have to go and, and spend a little bit of capital, as they say, in order to, uh, you know, get things off the ground here. So I want to use uh, the Para Goomba and fly right over here. Uh, some people make balloons that are really crazy hard to find and some that are really crazy easy to find. The one area that it's incredibly easy to find them is in the Lost Kingdom. And it's very, very easy to get those over and over and over again. But that's going to be, you know, a little while from here. So this one, ah, you can see these two. So if you look right up, pay attention to where the gold bar where it says balloons is right there. You see that it's moving. You can see the balloon right from our position. All right. So you get an idea of uh, what to do. So these two. This takes 30 seconds, this one takes 40, but they're not too much farther apart. So we're going to go for this one. A little bit less time here, but I'm assuming I'm going to be able to get through this uh, no problem at all. So, and if you happen to miss the time, then you will be forced to retry it if you have the proper coins for it. If you don't, well then you're just kind of out of luck. Um, shaking, nope, okay, go. Shaking your uh, Pro Controller or Joy-Con is going to be key. In order for you to uh, get all of the uh, balloons here. And we should be totally fine. Yes, we are right there. So you get a time bonus if you get it within a certain time frame. You know, you earn more coins if you take a little bit less time. But you're really just aiming to get, you know, as many in a row as you can. And then we can go for that one literally again. The same exact one. So sometimes it's, I don't think it's discounted in a, uh, a kingdom, but some kingdoms actually offer more coins for um, each of their balloon trials, depending on the, I think it's just based off of like whatever Nintendo decides via the online, I think, because it'll change up. So sometimes, you know, you'll be in the cap kingdom and they'll be worth more. So like if you'll pay maybe a couple of more coins, and then get to, uh, you know, uh, get a higher amount of coins back. So it changes, I think, every hour. So you really want to go with that if you're really aiming to earn coins quickly. And just like that, within 10 minutes, we went from being at almost zero to 1,400, and we're not even close to being done yet. So for this one, can we see where it's at? Uh, ooh, 75 or 264, that's not bad. Um... That one, I believe, is way... Where is that one? So you can see where the arrow is pointing, right? Let's see if I can try to find it on here. No, I can't see it, but it's definitely over there. So do I want to give that... I'm going to give that one a shot. Some people, especially in the Metro Kingdom, really like to hide them in, like, very glitchy sort of spots. That makes it very, very unfair. So we're going to encounter that probably... Uh, very shortly here, but uh, in the Cap Kingdom, you know, these are relatively easy to get to because they're all uh, within a very short area. You know, it's a small area around here, so you shouldn't have to worry about that too badly. You can obviously tell how close you are based on the meters and all that. Uh, we're going, where is it? I can't tell. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Right down this way. Boom. So as long as you touch Cappy in some capacity, you're totally fine. You can throw Cappy there. You can, you know, use Mario. You can do whatever you want to. So now we're up to 2,000 in, like, again, just under 10 minutes. Uh, this one is 147 away. Uh, that one is located on an island, and it takes 15 seconds. That's one that you're probably going to break your streak on. I wouldn't recommend that. And you can, all, you can just barely see over the edge of the mountain, way up top there. Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't, but it's right up there. 23 seconds to go for that one. That's tough. I don't know if I would go for that one myself. Uh, 38 seconds for 440. All right, so this one down here, you have less time to find it, but you get the same amount of coins as if you went for that one right there. So I'm going to say to go for this one and keep that streak going. You're going to want to keep your streak going as much as possible 
because that's just going to net you more coins regardless. All right? And I'm going to probably break my streak here for just a second because I do want to show you some of the more uh, unique locations that people typically find to uh, put the balloon in. And I guarantee you this one is in the same, almost the same exact spot, right? Let's see. Figure this out. Come on. Right over here, right? Uh, close. Right over here. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much same exact spot. So that'll happen a lot. People will, you know, go for the same sort of locations. And look at that. We almost gained like 900 on that turn. Like, that's incredible. So, and especially if you beat the game and you start this balloon world mode, then you're going to be getting a ton of coins. All right, so this one is 36 meters down that way, 15 seconds to find it in a different location here. We haven't gone down toward this way. So this one, incredibly easy. Ooh, so this one's spicy because it's technically located in a wall that moves. So, yeah, sometimes that happens. You know, that was me talking to my friend about uh, getting a haircut. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and I got 105 more coins from keeping that streak alive. So make sure you keep the streak alive, all right? Uh, that's the same exact one as before. You could just keep doing the same ones over and over again. Uh, you can also enter in a custom code that uh, people give you online. I would do a balloon code, but probably by the time you're watching this, somebody has already found my balloon. So I'm not even going to give you the code because it's probably not even going to be a thing. Uh, and if someone pops your balloon then your balloon is basically invalid. So, yeah, uh, there's really no point in me doing it. So, in case you're curious, looking for my code, uh, it's not really going to do anything if I give it to you. So, uh, let's try to find another unique one here. 145, that's the one that's probably... Ooh, I'm not sure if that's the one. <sighs> that might be the one... I don't know. Do I want to kill my streak right now? Because I'm doing pretty good. I got 3,000 coins. You know, I got 3,000 here. So these two are practically identical. You just get seven more seconds here. So I'm going to go for this one. Uh, and you can retry it, but, you know, let's see what happens. All right. Oh, yep. That's that one. Okay. All right. Well, I already kind of messed up because you need to have a, uh, a Paragoomba, like, right over here. And if you die, which I will right here because I didn't realize, your streak is broken. And you have to retry the whole thing all over again. And you lose the 10 coins on top of it. So that's a bad situation there. But uh, just for the sake of me going for it, I'm going to show you uh, exactly what I think the process is for this. Um, oh, no, not quite. All right. Well, the goal there is you do like a specific sort of cap throw and a jump in order to get over there and actually get to that island take over the Goomba, then fly over there. So if you really want to earn coins quickly, you want to avoid ones like that because those are basically, those are meant to mess you up. Uh, contrary to what I'm going to be showing you, you don't want to be doing ones that are going to mess up your rhythm. You want to do the same one over and over again if you really can because that's going to be the best way for you to earn a lot of these uh, coins. So we're going to go for this 16 second one down there by Tomas. All right, let's we'll see how, uh, how I can do this one here. That one is on that island right there, so it's right over there. So I would need to, yeah, I would need to launch myself over there, do that insane cap throw and do that. So that one we're just not going to get. So, yeah, th so these videos are kind of, they're going to be a little shorter, I think, because you kind of get the idea with each of the kingdoms, especially with, you know, uh, the balloon placement. Again, you want to go for the same one over and over again. So I'm doing this purely so I can get as many of the outfits as I can. So <clears throat> that's going to be the idea there. Uh, I better not be losing my voice. No, I'm good, right? I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just a little froggy. A little, little, little itty-bitty froggy. So I'm going to try to get up to 3,500 coins in this episode and hope for the best, you know? And just because, like, let's say you go and, you know, place down your balloon, and then you're like, all right, well, that took me 15 seconds. Well, it took you 15 seconds, but it's not necessarily going to take someone else 
15 seconds to find it. Actually, that's the wrong way. It's over this way. Huh, okay. Oops. Uh, let's do this. Actually, I might lose this one too, okay? Nope, I got it. There we go. Nice, cool. Um, they're gonna give you a few more seconds on the person who's actually doing the trial to actually get there. Uh, because, you know, you can clearly see the discrepancy there. One has 130 coins for 440. Actually, both do, but they net out different um, times. So, yeah, th they're going to give you a little bit more time, depending on how long it takes for you to uh, place your balloon. And sometimes people do, like, a glitched moon, or rather a glitched coin area balloon. Uh, that balloon is actually right on top of there, so that one's actually interesting. I need to use a uh, little froggy right here. Okay. If I can manage to get over there. I don't think I can. I don't know. Hold on. Wait. I'm not quite sure. Wait. Wait. I got it. Oh, wow. Yes, sir. There we go. Probably should have looked around a little bit more before taking that one on. So, uh, oh, I'm so close to 3,500. All right. I'll try to go for a more unique one here. Just to keep it spicy. Uh, that one we're not going for. That one we're not going for. Uh, I feel like I did that one already. That has actually a good, pretty good uh, coin payout, right? We'll go for that one. It's 400, uh, rather. No, not 400 meters away. It's 200 away. It's totally fine. So yeah, this is by far your uh, easiest way to get coins in the game. Is just doing this over and over again. Um, and especially if you... Like, like I said, if you know the map, right there, there we go. If you know the map, you're totally good. Um, yeah, let's just rinse and repeat, baby. That's all it is. It's all good. So a lot of the, uh, there we go. Nice. I'm going to end off the uh, streak right there, and there we go. So somebody uh, popped my balloon, and I earned 580 coins from people uh, popping my balloon. So uh, you will earn quite a few coins that way. Because you're relying on people who are not as good at the game as you are to, uh, you know, pop your balloon. So, unfortunately, as pro as I am, and as pro as you might be, not everyone else is. So it's going to be uh, interesting. So uh, these are all of the outfits that you can possibly get. These are every single one of them here that uh, is available. So obviously, uh, a lot of these are very expensive, actually. Uh, a lot of these were DLC items, especially like the sunshine ones. These are great. Um, oh, we need 4,500 to get both of them? Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm going to get... Um, you know what? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm going to do? Is... I'm going to get... Hmm. Well, I don't have the musician outfit, so I might as well go for that one. Uh, get that. That way I can piece together that whole outfit. And then the next episode, I will go for the entirety of that uh i want to get this one because it's clearly very saint patrick's day inspired right so i'll go for the uh space suit right here and a lot of these are references to uh other mario games so the stella view is from like the intelliview or something i forget uh i am not familiar with it as much but yes like the racing outfit very expensive uh this is a conductor wig for some reason i might as well just grab that one that's fine we'll do that uh that is a conductor outfit cool obviously a, a nice holiday hat over here along with the uh santa outfit that's cool and then the 8-bit mario cap there so lots of choices lots to get for coins two of which are 9999 coins so we're gonna be a while getting those ones but i think we can get it uh, fairly easily here so uh, that's all I got for you for Luigi's Balloon World for right now. Uh, I'm going to see you in the Cascade Kingdom and show you where more balloons lurk over there. All right, because there's certainly a lot more balloons to pop across the world. I'll talk to you again next time. Peace out. Bye.